Hello everyone, how y'all doing? Today, you'll learn to make abstract stuffs with curves. By the end of this video, you'll learn to make your own customized abstract models. So without wasting time, delete these unwanted things in our scene. And add a cylinder. Reduce the vertices to 3, or according to your wish. Drop the radius to 0 0.075. Change the depth, or we can always change it later. Hide the cylinder and add a bezier curve. Jump to the side view. Go to edit mode. Delete everything and select this draw curves option. Draw anything you want. Let's clean it up. If you press W, you can scroll through the different functions of dragging with the cursor. I changed it to drag to move. I'll speed up this step. You can press G to move and hold shift for lower sensitivity. We need another handle in between these handles. So, select them, right click, subdivide. Do the same thing for the other side too. Make it look prettier as possible. If you don't see it, look closely. I aligned the handles to the grid to make it uniform and beautiful. Get back to the object mode and unhide the cylinder. Add a circle curve. Add a curve and a ray modifier to the cylinder. Change this to fit the curve and place the array on top. Select the circle curve in both those modifiers. You can adjust the thickness of the tube by scaling the circle curve, which is easy. Then, in edit mode, press Ctrl R and type 9 a bunch of times, because we want a huge number of edge loops for bending the cylinder. Head back to object mode and duplicate this curve modifier. Change axis to Z and curve object to this Bezier curve. The ends aren't touching together. So, press S, Z and scale it up. As I said before, you can select the circle and scale it to adjust the thickness. I'll leave it as it is. Go to the side view and Ctrl Alt 0 to place the camera. I'll change these to 0 to place it exactly on the axis. As you can see, these bends aren't perfect. So, let's fix that by scaling and rotating the handles. These are intersecting together. So, let's move them apart. G, X, 0 0.1. Select the other handle in G, X, minus 0 0.1. Then select both handles, S, X and adjust them. We have this problem here. I don't know how to fix it, so we can just move it behind. Select these handles and S, X, minus 1. Scale cylinder on the Z axis again. I'll do it again because it is still touching together. We need this tube twisted. Add a simple deform modifier and place a third. 
Select the circle as the origin and select Z axis. Type 360. If you want more twists, multiply it with 4. I'll choose 360. We can see the edge cuts here. So, go to the circle and increase the resolution to 32. Sorry, not the circle, the Bezier curve. Let's fix this issues by rotating the handles. It's just that simple. Save your file. Because we are going to apply the modifiers. We have this intersection problem again in this place where the ends touch together. So, scale it on the Z axis precisely. I am typing in numbers. Control S and save again. Now, apply all the modifiers. Press Ctrl Shift S to save another copy of your file. Give it another name or press the plus icon to add a number so that you don't overwrite the previous saved file. So, when you save later, you'll overwrite the last save file. Which means, your first save is still safe and you can make changes to your modifiers or curves by heading back to that file. Change engine to cycles and turn this on. I'll make the film transparent. Add an area light. Move it up and place it right there. Increase the power to 750 and size to 10. Shift D to duplicate and place it below. Press R, 180. Change its power to 100. Change it to Shader Editor. Add a new material to the cylinder. Go to Edit Mode and press P by Loose Parts. This will separate every cylinders from one another. We are doing this so that we can give random colors or emission to these cylinders. Now, all these cylinders have the same material. We can see the number of users of this material is 49. Add a hue saturation node and connect it to the base color. Add object info node and connect random to hue. Change this white to any color and it'll do its purpose. You can change this color to get different combinations. If you want it to be a combination of a set of specific colors of your choice, add a color ramp here. Add in colors of your desire. And adjust them. To add emission material to random objects, connect random to the emission. Add a color ramp here too and change it to constant. Adjust it. Change the color and strength as you wish. If you want random seed values, add a noise texture here and change it to 4D. and change W.
Change the color and strength of the lights. And add fog glow with glare note and compositing tab. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any doubts, leave a comment below. Leave a like, if this video deserves it. Have a nice day everyone.